Hi, I'm Liz Salmi, and today I'm going to show you how to report medical record information blocking using the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services online reporting tool. The reporting process is a little confusing, so in this video, we're going to break down that process step by step. If you are already on whereismymedicalrecord.org, scroll down and click the report information blocking button. Then you end up here at the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services Health Information Technology Help Center. You do not need to create a username and password. Click the link that says click here to raise a request without an account. You will be brought to a page called the Information Blocking Portal. Then click the button at the top of the page that says report information blocking. After clicking that button, a pop-up window will appear. And then this is where everything happens. You can scroll through and read all of the text in the blue area. The text describes information you might want to include in your report. Now this is a lot to digest, but don't worry. The folks at Open Notes and Citizen read these details and translated it into plain language to make it easier for you to make a report. More on that in a minute. Keep scrolling and you will see the five main components of the form. This is where you get to make some choices. First, the form asks if you want to remain anonymous to the ONC, but who is the ONC? Well, good question. The ONC stands for the Office of the National Coordinator for Health Information Technology, which is a division of the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Now, you might be wondering which is better, make an anonymous report or have your identity known to the government? And ultimately, this is up to you to decide. However, if you do share your contact information, you will be able to follow the status of your report. But the form does not say whether or not you can expect a response about your report. We do know that if you provide your email address after you submit a report, you will receive an email message confirming they received your submission. And a confirmation email is kind of nice after you've gone through all of the trouble of making this report. The next part of the form is self-explanatory. First name, last name, and email address. And then here's the complicated part, providing a description of your complaint. To help you write an information blocking report, we created a template you can download and fill in the blanks and then upload as your own report. The template can be downloaded from whereismymedicalrecord.org. We link to it under this video and near and around the report information blocking button. The template looks like this and will download as a simple Word document. On the left of the Word document are tips about what you should include in your report. And this is based on what Health and Human Services advise in the blue box on their form. On the right side is an area you can type in to draft your own report. Replace all of the text in red with your own information. And then once you're done with writing your report in the template, copy your report in the template and then paste it into the description in the website form. Be sure to review the description one more time to make sure it says what you want it to say. Health and Human Services also allows you to attach other files to help support your report of information blocking. Attachments you may consider including could be text that is copied and pasted from an email into a text document like Word or screenshots from your computer. Remember, do not share any personal health information or any personal identification information such as your home address or your social security number. Attachments cannot exceed more than 10 megabytes in file size. Once your description is in place and you are done with attachments, then click the Create button. If you choose to not be anonymous, the form will ask for your email address two more times to confirm they've got your information. After clicking the Create button, you will see a series of windows change on your screen as the report processes. Finally, you will get a message like this. This means your report was received. And then a few days from now, you'll get an email to create a new account so you can log in and see your submitted report if you want to. Well, that's it. You just made a report of medical record information blocking. There were a lot of steps, but I hope this video made it a bit easy for you to make this report. 
If you have any friends who are facing information blocking, please tell them about whereismymedicalrecord.org and this video. And while you're here, please click like and hit subscribe. And tell us how your report is going. Tweet at us at myopennotes. I'm Liz Salmi. I hope you get your medical records and get the most out of them. Good luck. You can download a transcript of this video at whereismymedicalrecord.org.